This DIY trailer tech video is on replacing a single piece of aluminum siding on a travel trailer. This DIY trailer tech video is sponsored by Coast Distribution. Coast supplies nearly 14,000 different RV, marine, outdoor, and power equipment products to customers throughout the United States and Canada. With an extensive network of distribution centers, Coast ships the same day they receive an order with overnight or second day deliveries to nearly all major markets. Hey guys, well, we're here working on our trailer project and uh, right now we're working on the exterior and dealing with some problems with the siding. And if you've got a piece of siding that you want to replace, most of these patterns are still available. You can get them in the, in the color and the pattern size that you want. You could do the whole back of a unit, maybe like this one or a couple of sections. But it's possible to take this aluminum siding out just one piece at a time. You don't have to take the whole thing apart. You can see that we took the screws out and pulled the window. Um, you can look at one of our other videos to see how to do that. We took off this corner trim piece over here, and now we're just going to pull this single piece out. We're going to do it by releasing the top, which is pretty straightforward and easy, getting the other piece, the next piece down a little bit out of the way, and then we'll pull this piece out so we can replace it. Okay, so okay, so you see that we released the top of it. We took release this out so we could get to the bottom where it's fastened to the to the side. We've got this one piece out. Now all I have to do is take the same pattern piece that we have here in the shop and cut the length with this little bit of radius in the bottom. Uh, tuck it back in, drop it down into place, and restaple it onto the steps. We use the piece of siding we removed as a pattern to make the new piece. Tracing it with a sharpie works well because the ends will be covered with trim. I use regular tin snips, but you may want to use the appropriate aviation snips for cutting a tighter radius. slide it right up into place, line it up down here, and staple it right on the studs in the bottom flange. 